It affects elderly people, elderly people with heart problems and other problems. If they have other problems, that's what it really affects. That's it. You know, in some states, thousands of people, nobody young, below the age of 18, like nobody. They have a strong immune system. Who knows? You look at you. Take your head off to the young because they have a hell of an immune system. But it affects virtually nobody. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. It goes through air, Bob. That's always tougher than the touch. You know, the touch, you don't have to touch things, right? But the air, you just breathe the air. and That's how it's uh, passed. It's also more deadly than your, you know, your even your strenuous flus. So this is deadly stuff. This thing is a killer if it gets you. If you're the wrong person, you don't have a chance. This now, is this, a monster. Apart. This is a scourge. And there's the plague. Now it's turning out it's not just old people, Bob, but just today and, and yesterday some startling facts came out. It's not just old, older yeah, exactly. young people to plenty of young people. And it's true. The New York Times says Biden's tax increases are more than double Hillary Clinton's plan. Even the Tax Policy Center admits taxes would increase on all income groups. If you elect me, I could have you. Your taxes are going to be raised, not cut. The bottom line is big tax increases. It could go higher. America First Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. By the way, how many of you did really well with that $1.9 trillion tax cut that increased? Really in good shape, right? Really changed your... Well, you did. Well, that's good. You must, I'm glad to see you're doing well already. And I'm good. But guess what? If you elect me, I'm not going to have you. Your taxes are going to be raised, not cut, if, you're, if you benefit from that. Breaking news at 11, a speeding pickup truck slams into a protester during a Black Lives Matter march on the streets of Hollywood tonight. That injured protester taken by ambulance to a local hospital. Here's another view captured by a photographer in the crowd. And as you can see, that pickup truck speeding away right after it hit the protester. Several marchers hurled water bottles at the pickup as it sped away. But that wasn't the end of the violence. Air 7 overhead as a crowd blocked an intersection on Hollywood Boulevard, and you could see a white Prius trying to work its way through the crowd. Several protesters try to block the Prius, but it speeds off, with several people chasing behind. Moments later, a large pickup races into view. It pulls right in front of the Prius at Sunset and Vine, forcing that Prius to hit the brakes. A man in a white t-shirt is seen running up to the Prius, reaching inside the driver's open window, and the two appear to struggle for a few moments. Just as the Prius starts to back up, a green Mustang races into the picture, pulls right behind the Prius, blocking its way, and then the two cars collide. Chris Christie overhead, Nair 7, calls what happens next. They're trying to grab the driver. They're trying to grab the driver of the car. This is getting ugly really, really quick. 
really quick. That pickup pulled right in front of the car. Now you have protesters beating up that driver, trying to get through the crowd. And here he goes again. He's stepping on it, and they're going to follow him. A police chopper was quickly overhead and directed ground units to that white Prius, which was pulled over nearby. A few moments later, the driver of that Prius was cuffed. Dramatic moments that happened just a few minutes ago. And tonight, LAPD Chief Michael Moore tweeting that the drivers of the pickup and the Prius involved in tonight's incidents have both been identified and an investigation is underway. Will you accept the result if Joe Biden wins? No. Under any circumstance? No. Why is that? Because it's lies and deceit and corruption. I'll be down on my knees praying a lot harder. Praying for Joe Biden's success or praying for uh, four years from now replacing Joe Biden? Praying for God to help us. President Biden, that can't happen. I can't even think about that because he does not like America. He's a racist. Now that's a racist. If you want to look at someone who despises the black man, the black woman, he looks out for himself. He's a crook. His son is a crook. He's a criminal. What happens if Donald Trump loses? Do you have uh, a fear uh, of uh, for the country if Donald Trump? I'll let you're nodding your head. I'll go. Okay, you can. Evolve. I'll ask we, both of you. We, we actually have plans to move to Panama because it's a city or it's a country that allows Americans to move there and to actually own firearms there. I mean, if they trust us enough to own firearms as you know people with uh, legal right to be in their country, um, you know, it, it seems like a place that's not planning to do something terrible to their people. But if he wins, it means the Democratic machine has won in some of the illegal tactics that, uh, is, you know, the voter fraud. I, I think that if he loses, they come after all of us supporters. I've actually considered leaving the country, moving to South America or something like that, if something like that happens. I've had neighbors that moved when Hillary was running against President Trump because he was convinced Hillary was going to win. He sold everything and moved to Panama. So I'm thinking, you know, my ancestors did that back in the 1900s when they left Germany. So I would hurt for my grandchildren. I'm in the last two minutes of the fourth quarter of life for me and uh, can't much happen to me in the meantime, but I hurt for my grandchildren and the people of America's children and grandchildren. If in another world <laughs> Joe Biden was to win, he'd be my president. Now, he wouldn't be the president, or he'd be the president. Let me correct that. Make sure you edit that. <laughs> uh, but he would not be the president that I chose, And uh, but you have to live with it. Joe Biden becomes president. What does that mean for you? <sighs> World's going to hell in a handbasket. I'm sorry. The man is sad because they are propping him up. If you notice any of his speech or whatever, he can't even complete a sentence. And I'm sorry, his, his, his mind is starting to fade. When they gaze upon Yosemites, Yosemites, towering sequoias, let us rethink all the assumptions and open our hearts and minds to possible and possibilities. And finally, I ask the leaders of the region, political and religious, Israeli and Palestinian, Jewish and Christian and Muslim, to join us in the noble quest for lasting peace. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Israel. 
God bless the Palestinians and God bless the United States. Thank you very much. I left Texas and I left Florida and I left Louisiana and I went to Puerto Rico and I met with the president of the Virgin Islands. Ended the war on beautiful clean coal. Clean coal, right? Clean coal. Brand new coal mine where they're going to take out clean coal, meaning they're taking out coal, they're going to clean it. We're as ready as anybody's ever been. Again, they haven't seen anything like what's coming at us in uh, 25, 30 years, maybe ever. It's tremendously big and tremendously wet. Tremendous amounts of water. It could very well be very similar to Texas in the sense that it's tremendous amounts of water. The latest act of resistance is the op-ed published in the failing New York Times by an anomalous really an, an ominous, gutless coward. So we've come to a Trump rally in Bemidji, Minnesota today to ask Trump supporters what they see when they open their Facebook feeds. No one has been more wrong more often than Biden. The November 3rd election result may never be accurately determined. On that post, is there any label or fact check or anything? Yeah, they have a little thing at the bottom that says voting by mail has a long history of trustworthiness in the U.S. <laughs> Are you a Facebook user? I use Facebook, yes. Yeah. So what sort of pages do you follow on there? Uh, anybody that agrees with me. <laughs> Only people that agree with you. You don't want to hear... That would be a Republican, an anti-abortion guy, and a pro-gun, and pro-beer. But do you not think it would be good to, to follow some pages of people you disagree with, see their opinion? No, maybe because not? they call me stupid, ignorant, you know. Amen. Why would I follow people that throw rocks at me constantly because they don't agree with me? I got tens of thousands of people that do. So Trump, his campaign, a lot of senior Republicans over the past few weeks have been sharing doctored and manipulated videos on social media. Now the Trump campaign and Trump supporters will often say, these videos are clearly jokes. They are memes, people know they're memes, people know they're fake. When they say, well, this is fact checked, it's wrong because it's taken out of context. Like when Joe Biden fell asleep during a live interview on television. <laughs> Claimed that he fell asleep. I think that was an edited one, right? That was... I didn't think it was. It looked pretty live to me with no cuts in it. Joining us live this morning from New York. Hey, good morning. Wake up. Is this the video that you're talking about? Could be, yeah. Biden falling asleep. Should I watch it really quick? Sure. So, this is Washington Post. Uh. <laughs> so an article there is saying that, that, it, that it was faked, but it looked real, right? I mean, it looked real. Well, I mean, I definitely wouldn't doubt that it would happen. Even if it is fake, does it change your opinion of, of Biden? God, no. You got to sift through it. I missed that one, but... It was a good laugh. It was a really good laugh. And like I said, I wouldn't doubt it. Harry Balvani joining us live this morning from New York. Hey, good morning, Harry. Harry, wake up. Harry? Yeah. Yes. Wake up, wake up. I can't hear anything. 